This is gonna take your Reels, TikToks, and YouTube Shorts to the next level. We're gonna be walking through a step-by-step -step guide on how to make engaging captions like Alex Ramosi for free and quickly. Guys, if you wanna take your captions game to the next level, this is the guide for you. What you're gonna need is CapCut. CapCut is available on the App Store for Mac if you just go ahead and search CapCut. And if you're on a Windows PC, go to your Microsoft Store, search CapCut, and follow the same process. Once you have CapCut, go to your applications, open it up. Once you're on this page, go new project. And this is where we get to edit and do our captions. Once you've recorded the clip you wanna use, go ahead and click import. You can also drag in. I've saved my clip to my desktop under raw footage, and I'm gonna go ahead and import it. This is the same video you saw in the start. Now, once it's in your media library, you can either drag it onto the timeline or click the plus icon and that'll put it onto your timeline for you. Once your video is on your timeline, go to original and make sure you're in the nine by 16 option. This is gonna give you that vertical aspect ratio. If you wanna change it to a square aspect ratio, go for that, but we're gonna to stick to vertical. The first step is an incredible tool in CapCut. Go to your text in the top left, go to auto captions, select the language that you spoke in, I spoke in English, and click create. What this is gonna do is read our video and understand the language and place auto captions onto the timeline. And that'll only take a few moments. And as you can see, we have our captions already placed, but these captions are unengaging and not Alex Formosi style. So follow me on the next steps to creating those incredible caption styles. Our second step in this process is removing all the dead space. Alex Ramosi has fast paced, engaging looking videos, and that's what we wanna do. So what you can see is the captions have been placed and there's spaces between some of the captions. This is fantastic because all we're gonna do is click on the video, go Control B, and we're able to drag that and everything shifts along with it. For this to work properly, make sure your snapping is on. So make sure your snapping is blue and that's gonna snap one video to the next. You can see we also don't have any captions at the beginning. I'm gonna go ahead and command B that and just delete this front end and you can see everything shifts up. Here's another gap that we're gonna delete, command B and drag that. Go ahead and do that for the rest of your gaps. If we zoom in here, you can see sometimes there's these small gaps between the text. This is the app's way of telling you that that probably is a good portion to delete as well. So we can delete that and it increases the pace of our video. The third step I'm gonna do is just remove all the takes that I'm not gonna use. Great, once you have your video trimmed down to the portions you wanna use, what we're gonna do now is change the font. Go ahead and click on one of your captions files. It should open this page here under text. You can go to font. And what we're gonna use is something called the bold font. If you don't have the bold font, please check the description of this video and it's gonna take you to this page, the font, and you're gonna quickly be able to download the font straight from it. The great thing about the bold font is it is 100% free to use and there's no license needed. Download it to your computer and install the OTF. I'm gonna go ahead and show you here. In my downloads, we're gonna click that OTF to install it. And once you've installed it, restart your CapCut app. When you're in the CapCut app, you're not gonna see the bold font at the top. All you need to do is scroll down until you see system fonts, right? These are all the fonts installed on our system. And the great thing is these are in alphabetical order. So we can quickly find T and there's the bold font right there. Make sure apply to all is check marked. And what you're gonna see is we have all of those quickly and easily changed to uppercase like Alex Hormozzi. The next step is to add font size. So we're gonna increase it. Alex Formosi tends to have two lines of text on every single slide. Scroll down as well and go to stroke. Toggle that, make sure your color is black and you can add thickness based on your preference. Guys, what you can see on this second text file is we have four lines of text. That's just too many for somebody to read and it looks too cluttered. If you get this on your video, go to captions. Where you wanna split, click on that point, backspace and click enter. Now what it's done is it's split between the two captions. Let's go ahead and do that for this next one as well. Click on the text, go to where you wanna split it, backspace and click enter. 
and now quickly and easily we have two lines of text the next thing i'm going to do is reposition this text while you're highlighted on the text file you can go to position and just click that up arrow and it's going to drag your text where it needs to be great guys now this is where it actually gets fun we're going to be changing the colors we're going to be adding animation we're going to be adding emojis rotation etc etc the first text effect i want to do is where our first line and our second line change colors and size respectively what i'm going to do is copy command c this first text file on the first layer i'm going to highlight the portion that i want to be a different color i can scroll up to color and i'm going to make it yellow i'm also going to increase the size a bit now on the second text file i'm going to highlight the other words in that file and i'm going to change those to yellow and i'm going to increase the size a bit as well now what i'm going to do is listen to the point where i start with take right at this portion this is where you want to cut your text files so highlight them and command b on your second layer delete that first half and on your first layer delete that second half now if we watch that you can see that as the colors change the sizes change too now what i'd like to do is add an emoji and animation to this first text all i'm going to do is go back to my internet browser and go emojipedia go on to emojipedia and I'm going to search for one increase. I love this rocket symbol. Click on the rocket and click copy. Now go back to your cap cut, click on where you want it to be and copy that and then go ahead and paste that. So delete that and click paste. Now you can see that's imported our rocket in. An important step once we reach this point is to deselect apply to all so that we can increase the rocket size without increasing all of our text size. I'm going to go ahead and drag that down to the position that I want. Right there is perfect. Now, for animations, stay selected on the rocket, go to animation, and there are so many amazing animations that we can use for our text or our emojis. A couple of my favorites are pop-up. So you can see that creates a pop-up effect for our animation. One that I've seen a lot in Alex Ormosi's videos is bounce in. And what I want to do is drop that duration to 0.1, and if we go ahead and play that, you can see that at, that rocket comes in quickly. Now, we're not done there. Go to out at the top and search for bounce out. Right here, click that and drop that duration to 0.1 again. If we play that, you can see we get this really slick rocket in and out animation. Another tip for editing engaging captions is generally Alex Ormosi will have one of the words or sentences inside his captions a different color. So for YouTube, I'm gonna make it red shorts to the next level i'm going to make next level yellow free i'm going to make green and quickly i'm going to make yellow i'm going to apply the same thinking like i did with this rocket to the rest of the captions for youtube i actually want to bring in the youtube logo so i'm going to go ahead and search for the youtube logo on my computer start youtube there resize the scale i'm going to drag that under youtube and this is another great effect that Alex does is he swipes the emoji or picture across the screen. Now this is super simple to do. Go to the beginning of your clip, click your position keyframe, go to the end of your clip and click another position keyframe. Clicking that arrow, we go to the first keyframe. I'm gonna drag YouTube across and clicking the right arrow, that's to our end. I'm gonna drag YouTube to the right. Now, if we play that, you can see that that slides right across our screen. Another tip is, let's say we want to have free and quickly show up in their different colors as I say the words. What we're going to do is copy this text file, go to the beginning of the playhead and click Control V, Control V, right? Depending on the number of words you want to highlight, that's how many paste. Because I just have two words, I've made two additional text files. Go to the first text file and we're going to need to change quickly back to white and we're going to need to change free back to white too. Now play your video to the first place you say the word. Right there I say free. I'm going to go ahead and drag my first layer there. And I'm going to drag my second layer to that start point. Now let's play to when I say quickly. Drag your third text file to that start point And your second to that point as well. Now on your second layer, change quickly back to white. And you can see then we have free pop up. And if you want free to stay green and quickly to change colors as well, go to your third text file, change quickly to yellow and free to green. 
Now what we have is that changing colors text effect be for free and quick. It's time for our next tip. Let's animate the text. On the text that you want to be animated, go ahead and highlight it, go to animation, and just like what we were doing with the emojis, apply different effects. So pop up, we can even do bounce down. I think I'm gonna apply the same effect that we did for the emojis, bounce in, and for out, I'm gonna go and click bounce out. Change your duration, 0 0.2 is my favorite. Guys, another quick tip before we close it off here, if you highlight multiple text files and go to animation, you can add animation to all the text files that you've highlighted. So if I just go to bounce in on this one, you can see that it's applied that animation to both of those. In his captions, he tends to change the rotation of every single text file. So we're gonna leave it for this first one because we already have that animation of changing size and color. But for the second one, click on your text, go to rotation and change it slightly. Another way to do it is if you just go to the rotation tab, you can click that rotation and change like that. I'm gonna apply the last emojis and animations and show you the result. And lastly guys, if you really wanna spice it up and take your reel to the next level, what I would do is go ahead and chop up your video at important points every couple seconds. And in those different points, change the scale and position of that clip. And just like that, you're done. You've taken your reels to the next level. They're gonna look engaging, they're gonna look fast paced, and you're gonna really stand out from the crowd. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and subscribe. I've got so many cool things coming out in the future that you're gonna to wanna to see. And comment any questions you have, and I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability. One last time, let's see our final result, and I'll catch you in the next video. This is gonna take your Reels, TikToks, and YouTube Shorts to the next level. We're gonna be walking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to make engaging captions like Alex Formosi for free and quickly.